Hey guys, it's me, Lady Liberty Stacker, coming back with you uh, for a pickup video. Um, kind of an unboxing pickup video. Um, these packages started to come in last Thursday, and I thought I was going to have about uh, three of them to show to you today, all in the same general area of uh, type of coins. Um, but I had a surprise in the mail today, completely unexpected, um, very strange. But anyway, uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and tell you um, what I got. And the first coin is a, uh, a fractional lunar. You can see Queenie here. There she is. Year of the Goat. So I could bring it in closer so you can see. And I was going to do this earlier in the week, but my camera was not focusing and I was very tired. I tried three or four times. I said, ah, forget it. I'll wait until all my stuff comes in. So this is just another uh, coin that I ordered from uh, Bay Precious Metals. And you can see how they packaged it. Very, very good. And you guys know what these look like. This is a quarter ounce. And uh, and I'm adding this to my other uh, two quarter ounce lunar horses. Uh, kind of like the idea of buying a premium bullion uh, that has a floor to it. Uh, the silver lunar does the same thing these do, go up in time. So I am venturing into more gold right now. And for those of you that haven't um, seen my videos in the past, I started stacking last September and bought a ton of bullion and I had different size coins, uh, fractionals, uh, one ounce, you name it. I had um, bars, silver bars, kilo, 10 ounce, 5 ounce, 2 ounce, 1 ounce, you name it. I had, And I thought that was being diversified. It was basically almost 99.9% .9 bullion. I did manage to pick up a few uh, proofs here and there, a couple of slab morgans, a proof of 2014 uh, eagle, in, you know, in the raw form in a box. And interestingly enough, over time I realized that those were holding their value when the spot price of gold and silver continued to come down last fall. So I did take an opportunity to sell a lot of gold and a lot of my bullion um, in January of this year when spot zoomed up. I think gold was over 1300 an ounce. And believe it or not, I actually made money on the gold. I got a, basically a return on my money in the silver back into cash. So at any rate, I'd like to get back into gold, but I want to buy stuff that's not going to go down in value because I see the markets are trending down. Um, they're going to continue trending down until I believe they hit 900, 950, um, somewhere in there. Um, I don't know. It's just going to continue dropping down where it is now. So that I'm very happy with this piece. So here we go. And... Uh, the second uh, item that I picked up uh, came in today, and uh, this is another fractional gold piece, and yeah, it says Atmax, and uh, I did uh, inspect it just to make sure it was going to be okay. Um, this is a 20 peso, 1959 gold piece from Mexico, and you can see there, I'll take it out of the uh, packaging. But this is, I, I imagine it's probably a restrike. They restruck a little over a million of these in, uh, from 1960 to 1971. Whoops. And let me see if I can show this. This is just a gorgeous coin. Brilliant uncirculated. Just beautiful. You can see it there. I'll zoom in on it. And it says, Viente Pesos, for 20 pesos. And it's got the Mayan calendar on it. It's just a different design. It's just really nice. And it's got the uh, lettering on the edges of the coin, Independencia y Libertad. And then on the reverse, you have, again, you have your Mexican coat of arms. And this is after they changed the design. This is, uh, they did that shortly after... Uh, 1900. The first of these was minted in 1917, and this one I really think is a restrike. It's it's just it has brilliant luster. Uh, it's in very good shape. 
This was a random year pickup off of eBay. Um, I was going to get the Modern Coin Mart one, but they were sold out, so I went over to Atmex's listing, and I picked this up for about a little over 600 bucks. Um, at any rate, I think it's a beautiful coin. I am, I'm going to get more of these. I actually picked up a slabbed version today. And uh, it's going to hold its value in a down market. But that's one of the reasons why I got this. Um, this is an interesting coin. Lower mintage. This is about, about 1,152,000, somewhere in there. Um, but I think it's a brilliant coin. It's really actually quite heavy. Um, it's 20, almost 28 millimeters, 27 and a half. A little bit more than your typical half ounce gold coin as far as it's a little larger. It's just a little meat. I don't know. It just seems really chunky, but it's not. Just beautiful. And it's got 0 .4822 troy ounces of gold in this coin. Beautiful. I'm definitely going to buy more of those. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down. And then I also wanted to get some gold Libertads, but uh, somebody had posted a uh, video, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out of its packaging here. Uh, that they couldn't find any raw bullion. No raw bullion. So I found a slabbed version. This is PGCS. And uh, this came in late last week. And uh, surprise, surprise, it's a 2015 Libertad. And it's kind of hard to see the date there, but you can see it here 2015 uh, Minta, Mexico. It's an MS69, and at the time when I bought this, um, there was an NGC one and a PGCS. They're both exact same price, but uh, with all things being equal, I picked the PGCS MS69 because that could very well possibly grade an MS70 from NGC because they're a little more stringent on their grading. And I think anybody that knows much about that can attest to that. But again, that's just what I've I've researched and come to understand. But this is a beautiful coin. Really gorgeous. And this coin, you can't find it raw. The only thing you can find is a 20th ounce. You can only find the slabbed versions. And the MS70s are really, really pricey. I paid a good buck for this. But my thoughts are it's a good long-term play. It's going to go up in value over time. It's probably going to be very limited minage. You can, you just simply can't find these. Just beautiful. And your traditional uh, coat of arms on the back, surrounded by the ten previous coat of arms they've used on previous coinage. And I have the serial number covered up for obvious reasons. But, uh, yeah, really happy I got this one. So there we go on that one. So, yeah, go ahead and put those, uh, line those guys up. And I got another coin today I completely forgot about. So kind of on, um, open it for you guys here. It came in one of these uh, priority mailers, USPS priority bubble wrap mailers. And I, I went to my mail today, and I thought, I'm not expecting anything. And then they put this plastic. I had to open it with scissors over that. And then it had a cardboard like so. It feels really bulky. At first, I thought this might have been a book or something, but I, I had no clue. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And then we have an envelope. And you can see that there is something circular inside. And I just, I had no idea what this was. I hadn't ordered anything in quite a while. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. This is a 2015 five ounce proof round. I'll call it around. Technically it isn't a coin. But actually, it's floating currency in Mexico, so I guess you could call it a coin. They reference this, uh, the seven coin and the five coin sets, but this is a an individual proof. 
what happened was I think I had ordered this way back as a pre-sale, way back in December or January. It was a long time ago. I completely forgot about this. And it just showed up today in the mail. I completely for I can't believe I forgot about this. But uh, it's beautiful. 2015. I think I thought I'd canceled it. I, I just completely forgot about it. So actually, uh, I guess I didn't. And this is a beautiful coin. Round silverino if you're watching. But uh, five onzas, platapora. Pura, Mint to Mexico, 2015, individual proof. Uh, this is a beauty. I've got one for 2014. I've got one for 2000, 2013. Um, they didn't make this in 2012. I wish they had, but they didn't. So at any rate, uh, there's that one. So I'll go ahead and set that down. Um, you can see there. All of them lined side by side. All of them Mexican except for the lonely goat over here. <laughs> and uh, at any rate, um, got that one. And this uh, Libertad here. One thing about this is quite interesting. Um, you can insure this on a floater, an inland marine floater policy. Uh, you cannot put raw bullion on those. So the uh, 20 peso coin here more than likely would be ineligible for coverage. Uh, that's why I would like to get a slabbed version of it. You can insure all these things, but bullion you cannot insure. So that 20 paces is really nice. I really want to get more of those. But uh, they will not put raw bullion on that type of a policy because it, it you know basically follows spot. And coins like this tend to hold their value. They're more like collectibles, so that's why they allow them on, a, on an inland marine type policy. I call it a floater policy. So this one will need to be added to my insurance policy. And that's one of the main reasons why I got this. Because um, most of the things that I'm acquiring now are eligible and have been, have been added to my policy and are covered. So, um, beautiful coin. Libertad. And uh, anyway, this is getting kind of long, but right now I want to wait on more bullion, raw bullion gold. I want to wait till the price drops a little bit more, but I'm trying to buy things that have it, the holder value and will go up in time. So here we go. Just one final look-see. And uh, that's about it for today. Um, I do have one other pack, a couple other packages coming. But there'll be a little bit. So until next time, I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, love you. Love for you guys to comment and uh, make it a great day.